Hey everyone, what's going on? It's your boy Krebsy Crypto, and for today's video I have something a little different other than CPU or GPU mining. We're going to be taking a look at hard drive mining. I know hard drive mining isn't too relevant of a thing, SSD mining, whatever you want to call it, but there are coins that allow you to kind of mine through your hard drive and you get rewarded in said coin. Now there's been projects like Chia, Filecoin, and a few others as well. And they obviously, none of them have really like took off. Like Chia Coin is the one we're going to be looking at today. But I'm not looking at it as like a big profitable thing. The coin's going to bounce back or nothing. I just like to mess around in the mining world and just try out different ways and, you know, learn about the different ways of mining and just kind of look beyond the profitability and stuff just to try it out and learn about it. Because each day it's always good to learn something new, whether it be like with tech mining in the real world stuff like that it's always good just to learn new ways and new things about what you're doing and just expand your knowledge so you're probably well aware that chia mining used to be kind of a big process you had to download like the wallet you had to download the you had to download the whole blockchain essentially which like at this point is like 100 gigs or so so you have to download a whole bunch of data and stuff like that well, now with Chia mining, since things have advanced and things are a little different now, there is an easy way to get started with Chia mining, which requires no big hardware, nothing like that. I'm literally uh, hard drive mining Chia with two 500 gigabyte SSDs that I just had laying around that I wasn't using. So I figured to go ahead and try that. But it was all literally just set up through the CMD prompt. You didn't have to download like the Chia app or anything like that. I'll just minimize this because this is my Varus mining here. I'm CPU mining on this as well. But this is called no SSD. And you might be like, oh, what's no SSD? What it is, it's a Chia mining pool, but they made mining for Chia really easy. And you can do it with support of GPU or CPU, depending what you have here. So this is the CPU one. It's literally just a program. It works on Linux or Windows. And it's very simple and easy to use. Uh, again, there's not multiple algorithms, so it's only one uh, bat file you have to worry about and stuff. But I'm going to pull up the website here and I'll show you just more info about it. So I'm still fairly new to Chia and hard drive mining and stuff like that. So a lot of it I don't understand still. And I, like I said, I'm still learning. It's just I've let this run for a couple weeks now. And I figured to go ahead and just to make a video on it. So you guys can, you know, if you have extra hard drives, I'm not saying go out and buy a bunch of hard drives and stuff like that. If you have a stack of extra hard drives or a big hard drive bay or something, and you kind of want to put them to work if you're not using them for anything, I would suggest firing this up and just trying it out for yourself. But as you see here, this is the website, nossd.com. All the links will be in the description. But as you see here, you only need like 20 or 30 gigabytes to start, I think. That's what it means. Again, I'm still learning, so correct me if I'm wrong, please. I just like to learn because I'm still understanding this whole hard drive mining thing. But as you see, there's no SSD needed, of course, and then the small plots. So again, you don't need an SSD. So if you have a stack of like old HDDs, like hard drive spinning, rotating ones, then you're good kind of like this one here, where it's like the old standard one. You can go ahead and hard drive mine with that. But of course I use SSD, obviously it's faster. It's gonna be better for the whole Chia mining process. But again, our CPU and GPU plotters work well without an SSD on machines and without any amount of RAM. Uh, with any amount of RAM, sorry, the high-end machines make plots in 1 to 4 minutes and machines with 8 to 64 gigabytes of RAM. Uh, plot times depends on the number of connected hard drives and the high-end machines just depends on the RAM. So to get started here, you just click download and start mining and it's going to bring you to this page here. As I was talking about, there's a GPU mining client and there's a CPU mining client. I currently just use the CPU mining client. Uh, I had a little bit of trouble with the GPU one just because I didn't have a high enough, uh, high end one in my computer here to use. All I have is the 1650. So down here, I literally just have the 1650 right there. And then I have my two SSDs literally right there. And those are the ones that are hard drive mining. I have no other use for them. They're just kind of sitting around. So again, figured to mess around with this and learn about this. But all you do, so for example, if you want to do the GPU one, you click on that and it should just automatically start downloading. I already have it downloaded, so I'll show you that. But it shows you step by step how to do it. So once you have, say, the GPU one downloaded, you extract the files from the downloaded arch, uh, archive. So you extract them with 7-zip, uh, WinWAR, or whatever. 
and there's going to be a dot bat file of start client example dot bat uh, you can obviously go ahead and just copy this and paste it and make a duplicate copy to work on or you can just directly work on that bat we'll go over that and that's with windows linux i'm not too sure i don't really mess with that so again it says edit the copy in windows so you choose edit and then you're going to replace the dummy Chia address with your Chia address. And I'll show you an app to use for a wallet. So that way you don't have to download the whole blockchain and all that. Of course, if you have a Chia wallet or you prefer to use the Windows one, go ahead and download it. And then all you do is replace, it'll be default C uh, colon forward slash plot. So like your hard drive, you just change that with the location of the hard drive that you have hooked up for mining. So it's pretty straightforward and easy. That's what it says here. Um, I'll show you all like the commands and different things to use. Optional, you can set the compression level and we'll go over that. It goes from like, I think one to 34. So the better CPU hat, the better CPU or GPU you have, you can run a better compression rate so things run faster. But I'm not gonna worry about that. I didn't have to uh, worry about that too much. So that's gonna give you your standard, like how to set it up. And it's gonna tell you each rank. So that should get you up and running. I'll show you that. But for more information, you click help here. And this is what I'm talking about when it comes to CPU and GPU. So it depends on what GPU you have to work with your hard drive. So again, I'm still trying to understand all this, but for example, like C30 compression level, your plot size is 47 gigs, your reward is 213%. And then as you see here, RTX 4090 or 1080 Ti, it shows like these ones as well. Again, I'm still learning all this, so I'm just kind of showing you guys. So if you, just, if you know about this stuff, just let me know, or you can check it out for yourself. Where I kind of understood it, uh, I don't know why I jumped back there. Let me see where I understood it was kind of more so down here. So like the number of hard drives four, and then you can have eight gigabytes of RAM with like four drives and it tells you your plot times and stuff like that. So again, you can go through all this and read it for yourself and try to understand it a little more. I'm still learning about it. I'm no expert. I'm just showing you how to get it set up and running. And then these are more commands. So obviously once we open the bat file, if you have like multiple drives, how to set it up. If you want a limit, so say you have like a 10 terabyte drive, but you only want to use five terabytes, you can set that up. And then for your GPU and stuff like that. So like there's a bunch of different setups you can do. I'm gonna show you the CPU one here. So this is the one I use. So I click on CPU mining and this kind of tells you uh, the plot sizes again, how fast your compression will be on CPU, et cetera, et cetera. Um, again, I have a very base knowledge, so my setup might not even be 100% correct, but it is working. I am being rewarded in Chia and everything. So again, I'll just quickly show you guys. So once you have it downloaded, so on the main hub here, you click download and start mining. If you do have a higher end GPU, I'd recommend probably using that. But if you're just starting out and kind of learning, I just go ahead and use the CPU one. And then once you have them downloaded, They'll just be in a uh, RAR file or a zip file. You just unextract them. The 3.1 is the GPU one. And again, I don't use this one because I don't have a high enough one, but it's the same setup for each one. So once you right click it, this will be a dummy address. So just replace after dash A with your Chia address. So you paste it right there. And then next is gonna be dash D, which is the drive. So I currently have two hard drives, as I said. So we have D colon forward slash plots, and then you do again dash D and then the other drive. So E colon forward slash plots, and you just save it. And then you just run it right there and it should pop up. Um, again, for GPU, I don't know how that process works, but CPU one is exactly the same, no SSD 1.4. All you do is right click. You can do this one here, the start a client example, or just right click copy and make a fresh one. But again, literally the exact same thing. So client.exe a, then paste your Chia address. And then same thing here is gonna be D and then my one drive, which is D plots, uh, dash D and then this one's E and then this one's set up there. So whatever directory you want your plots to be in, that's what you put after the uh, colon forward slash. So if it's on your C drive, you put C here. So for example, It'll be like C forward slash plots, and that will go on your C drive. But if you want it on your desktop or something, 
you want to go into your user directory, your username, desktop, and then make it plots on there. And all you do is double click that and run it and then it should pop up. So this is it plotting here. I fired it up on one of my other computers here. And as you see, I'll scroll up. It'll start with all the commands at the top there. It'll start up and it should say uh, your worker name and then starting benchmark and this PC is capable to mine on. And it'll go through each compression level and it will tell you what your computer can do. And as you see here, it should come up with all the directories. So I have my C drive, I have a 500 gig external, another 500 gig external, and I already have plots on the two 500 gigs. So now it's gonna start plotting on the C drive. So as you see, allocating memory, it should start up, tell you how many plots you have. And then it will say starting plotting on and then C drive here. And as you see, the timer starting to go. So it's plotting on those, and then it's also mining on the other two that already have a plot. Because the other two that have a plot are my two SSDs here. The one that's plotting right now is just a standard rotation drive. So as you can tell, it does work on all different types of drives. So as you see here, it says the signage point. So that means it is mining right now from the two SSDs. And right now it's creating the plotting for the C drive, so the standard rotation. So it should come up like that. You should literally just have to double click it and you should be good to go. And that will start up automatically. So all you do is you go into your uh, no SSD folder here. So this is all done automatically. So once you're in the no SSD for the CPU one, that's the one I'm in. So all you do is start up your uh, bat file that we uh, edited up earlier and it will automatically open with all of this, like I said. So as soon as you open it, it will start with all of that at the top. And this is all just automatic at this point. Let me catch back up with it here. So as you see, and I would recommend not using the computer while it's plotting because I'm plotting right to my C drive for this one here. So the whole computer is running a bit slow. So I would just leave it while it's plotting. As you see here, it says about 15 minutes remaining, uh, three minutes elapsed, so 18%. It's not doing too bad for an old uh, hard drive and the other ones are just sitting there mining so you just let it do its thing and it should be good to go and you should be up and mining on no ssd what you do is once you're up and mining you just search address now it might not search right away for you because it has to validate the shares but this one's mine here as we see um 10 valid so after one day you have one share two days is two shares and every 10 shares it updates on here so you're not getting continuous updates you're just letting it run and you're coming back after like a week or two and you're going to check your pool and see how it updates again it could be faster for you depending on what you're running it on and how much hard drives and the speed on them and such but as we see here i'll try to focus i haven't been running this too long that's my unpaid and this again is chia and then that's my estimated chia per day. Now again, this is probably just like mining after the next 10 days, once it validates another 10 shares, this might change because it might balance out over time. I'm still running it and learning it. Again, I just figured to bring it to you guys so you guys can go ahead and check it out and learn about it and maybe teach me a little bit about it in this, uh, the comments and stuff. But I have a kind of an understanding of it. It was just like when I was first starting out GPU mining. It was just more or less getting understanding and seeing how everything works because I like the whole back end of stuff. Again, Chia is not crazy price or anything. I'm not doing this for profit or anything. Like if we look up Chia coin, coin price, not prediction, we need the price. So if we look up Chia price, it's 982 Canadian. So that's Canadian price. So you can convert it to your American dollar. But as we see here, it's not like anything too hot. It literally pumped to like a thousand and then just died right off. But it's something just to learn about. It's kind of like, you know, uh, Digibyte and things like that. I believe that's the coin. It's on uh, script algorithm. It's only a few pennies, but it gets you understanding and learning kind of like Raven coin and other ones it gets your foot in the door. So this could have been out for a while. It's just something I came across and I figured to give it a shot. Again, just something fun and new to learn. But again, hopefully you guys learned something from this. If you did enjoy, make sure that like and subscribe button as it lets me know you're enjoying my content and you're gaining something from it at least.
but I hope you all have an amazing day and there'll be more tutorials to come. I have some ready and lined up to go. They might not be GPU mining and stuff like that, but there are gonna be ASIC tutorials and a few others. I'm kind of just bringing more different content instead of strictly being GPU mining. I've gotten my amp miner S9s and stuff all running on 110 volt, all cranked down 800 watts, stuff like that. So I have a wide variety of content, kind of want to expand out of GPU mining, but still obviously focus on it. But again, I hope you all have an amazing day. And this is Krebsy Crypto signing out.